All right, friends, David Valentin here. Welcome back to my channel where I cover the clubs that I follow, one of them being an MLS club. Today, I saw a friend from the internet talking about how disappointed he was that traditional media was not covering his MLS club. And I'm going to tell you guys what I told him on Twitter. Who cares? That's it. Traditional media, it's not going to embrace us. You know why? Because traditional media is run by people that have no desire of covering MLS because they don't see it as profitable. Traditional media basically runs for profit. And how do create profit? Well, they have to have ratings. Those ratings is what brings advertising. And that advertising can only be there if they have eyes on the screen, eyes on the page, ears on the sound. And traditional media has been losing a lot of terrain to social media, to the internet for the last three decades. And eventually one day, uh, the internet is gonna transform itself into the media. But the folks, again, that resist change, that think that you and I have not changed are gonna continue in that attitude. I have not listened to the radio in 13 years. I rarely watch TV. I don't, I watch the news in the morning because my wife turns on the, the, the morning news. I don't come home in the afternoon to watch the afternoon news. You know why? Because I already know what, what, what happened because my notifications on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram tell me that things happen. I know within seconds, I don't need the traditional media to tell me. To go back to football. So one of the things that happened in the era when MLS started was that MLS was heavily dependent on those folks on TV, the newspaper, and radio to cover them. They chose not to. And if you see, MLS struggled greatly in those early years until the internet came around. The internet has given us the power to choose to watch what we want and create content that we ourselves want to watch. You have in your pocket, in your cell phone, a portable studio. If you have uh, access to the internet, you can record anything you want and broadcast to the world. You could be in a small village in the middle of Africa. You got an internet connection, guess what? Once you press play, broadcast, anywhere in the world, even in the offshore island that is in the middle of nowhere, they can see you. So why are we begging traditional media to embrace us? We shouldn't. If you look at every single MLS club, there's podcasts, there's vlogs, there's blogs, there's, there's, there's websites, there's things that are fan-driven in covering those clubs. If you wanna know about your club in your market, you go to that source. First of all, you're gonna get better coverage, you're gonna get passionate coverage, you're gonna get unbiased coverage. Because you gotta remember that in the media, they want to be impartial and they want to be fair. Fans don't want that, fans want the truth. <laughs> and they're gonna give it to you. So again, if you feel that in your city, the traditional media is not covering it, forget about them. They're never gonna change. We, can't, we have to learn to understand that those people don't want, do not wanna embrace football, don't care. If you look at the newscast, those five minutes they dedicate to sports, that is prime real estate. And they're gonna put the things in there that they believe are gonna give them ratings, that are gonna give them, that people wanna watch. And MLS might not be that. And if they dedicate time to MLS, maybe five to 10 seconds. And it doesn't sound like a lot, like a long time, but on TV, that is an eternity. Therefore, support anything that fans are doing to cover your team. And if there's nothing, do it yourself. I myself, three years ago, saw that nobody was covering my club in the Spanish language. So I decided to start a podcast in Spanish to cover Orlando City, which is the club that I follow in MLS. 
And then through that podcast, somebody asked me, hey, I'm, uh, I have a, a, a Spanish language um, football uh, website and I want to include MLS as one of the leagues that we cover. Could you write a column for us? So I'm doing that. And then one day I said, you know, it's great to go into the stadium and experience what it is to just go to the stadium and have a good time because a lot of people in the U.S., in Canada, don't get to experience that because their football experience is getting up in the morning, turning on the TV and watching a team far away from home in another continent, in a community they're not part of, while they have a club in their backyard that they don't choose to support. Let me show people that you can go have a good time, that you can't, uh, that, that the experience is great, so I'm gonna vlog about it. I'm gonna go on social media and talk to other fans about their clubs, about my club, about the league. I make those decisions. I don't make any money. I do it because I love football, I love the MLS, and I love my club. And if you are not doing those things, but you feel inspired to do them, do them. Just remember, don't concentrate on the numbers. Just try to put out the best content possible. The numbers will come. So with that said, I just want, I want to encourage fans to create their own content, to cover their clubs, to try to get energized and pumped and not um, get upset at the fact that traditional media is gonna continue to ignore us because it's gonna continue to happen until those people retire and move on. The only way fans in MLS are gonna create other fans is by inviting friends and family and coworkers and, and just, hey, come, join me, at, join me at the game. Let's go have a good time. Trust me, it's gonna be, the, there's gonna be something there that is gonna say, you know what, I belong here. I wanna be part of this. People, when they see quality, people, when they see something fun, they wanna be part of it. You don't have to coerce them. You don't have to uh, bribe them. They, they're just gonna go and, 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 and just be part of it. That's exactly how it is, my friends. And traditional media, it's not gonna do that for us because traditional media is about making money and perhaps they choose not to see it with us. I love football, I love, I love MLS football and I love my club and I'm having a lot of fun going to the games, interacting with other teams, interacting with other fans. So I encourage all of you to just put that to rest and to just basically dedicate all your energy into supporting your club and to be part of it. Eventually, when they start seeing the crowds in those stadiums, eventually, traditional media may give us the time of the day. But by then, we may never need, we, we may not need them because we already have laid down the groundwork to grow the sport that we love here in North America. So with that said, my friends, I hope this message reach you, encourage you, pumps you up for the MLS season. If you have never watched a game or you have never gone to the stadium near your city to support the MLS club that is in your backyard, I encourage you to go. Don't listen to people saying, oh, it's a retirement league. Make that decision on your own. Go to the stadium, go watch the games. That's, that's all I'm asking. Just go do that, and you're gonna realize that football, quality football, can be found in MLS. It's not the best in the world, but it's right here. And the only way we are gonna grow the sport in our countries, in Canada and the United States, is by supporting our local clubs, it's by encouraging one another, and it's by showing our support with our money, our presence, and our support, you know, just going and doing things. So with that said, Thank you. I hope this reaches uh, somebody that needed to hear that. And uh, all the best.